Okay, sometimes we want to plot um, two experiments in a single graph and uh, that uh, can be uh, a little bit tricky but uh, here's a little trick how you can easily do that. So we have got experiment A with x values and the corresponding y values and we also have experiment B with x values and the corresponding y values and we all want that in one graph so that we can easily see that. So what do you need to do? Uh, just simply copy with the left mouse click pressed, copy for example experiment B, so copy and we pass that, uh, paste that straight into the previous uh, one, so like this one. And what we need to do now is we have to move the y values into a different column. So the x values we keep, the y values we move into the next column. And the, the easiest way to do that is we move the mouse cursor until we see this hand or fist thingy. So just keep the left mouse button pressed and move it, move the columns so that they are nicely into another uh, column here. And of course we need to be, uh, we need to keep track of which data are from which experiment. So what we can do is we can say, we call this y from a and we call the next one here, y from b. So it looks a little bit weird with these blank cells, but don't worry about that uh, because Excel will ignore it. So what we can do now is we just simply highlight the whole thing like that with the left mouse button pressed. We go to our charts and we go for uh, scatter plot x y scatter this one here we go for the dots just simply the dots and what we see here is that we have our two uh, y values from a that's the blue one and also the y values from b and of course uh, what we can do is we can get the trend lines so, for example, uh, I press the left mouse button, I select all the blue ones, right click, add trend line. So that's this one here and I want to display the equation and the correlation coefficient. So that's the blue trend line here. <coughs> And I do the same thing for the orange buttons. And what we can see is basically the gradients are the same, 0 0.448 or something like that, but the intercept would be uh, different. So that's uh, how you can put in two experiments, the graphs for two experiments into one graph. It's very easy and it's not restricted to just to two experiments, experiment A and B. You can basically have as many as you like, although if you have got more than four or five, then it gets a little bit wild and the graph uh, doesn't tell you uh, a lot. But uh, that's an easy way to combine two graphs. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.